Hi, my name's Kay. I'm one of the intensive care doctors and I'm just going to talk you through the differences in vas cath insertion. So we're at the point with our patient where, as you would have seen before, we've found the vessel, punctured the vessel, inserted the guide wire. Let's say we've dilated the tract and now we're just going to insert this vas cath, which is a different central line device. Differences with this are in appearance. So you can see it's almost got this staggered appearance at the distal tip and so one of these sites is going to be used for access and the other is going to be used for return essentially. Now it does look like this and it is quite and it and it can look quite peculiar and the most the main thing that you might be attracted to or drawn towards is that it's got this extra blue tip coming out the end and so the one thing to note with this is that these things can be very fragile and can kink quite easily and if a vas cath was to kink, it would cause big issues with dialysis because we need high access pressures or very negative access pressures to get good flow. So in order to overcome this, it comes with an internal catheter, which is this blue thing, which gives it integrity when you're putting it over the guide wire. So we keep this in, you can see it, you can withdraw it from the tip. I'm just gonna unclamp my line because that's what's causing some resistance. You can withdraw it, but you want this to stay in until the end. This is going to go over your guide wire. Just before we do this, one point I want to raise to you guys is that the guide wire for a vas cath is a lot thicker than the ones you'd use in a CVC. And so the usual dilator that you'd use for your CVC, you just can't get it over. It's not got a large enough hole. So it comes with its own dilator, which as you can see is a lot bigger, looks a bit a lot more ominous and goes over, okay? Of note, whilst talking about this point, is that because you're making a larger hole, these, um, when you're doing a, because you make a larger hole, when you're doing a vas cath, they do tend to bleed more, okay? So don't be alarmed by that. It just means you have to have gauze to hand and be ready to put pressure at that entry point um, at times that it's needed. So now we're going to advance the vas cath over. So here's my vas cath. It goes over and, I'm, and as you can see, I'm putting it through the blue internal catheter. So the whole thing advances, uh, goes over as a whole. And now we're just gonna assume that we've dilated this tract already. We're advancing it. Again, I can see that it's already come out the end. So I can see both sides of my guide, um, guide wire immediately. And as you advance it to the hilt, you then remove your guide wire and the internal integrity catheter um, as one unit. If you don't remove them as one unit, just remember to remove both. But it's just easier to remove them as one unit. Have your thumb to hand, your finger to hand or your thumb, catheter in, aspirate, 